it's very troubling and it's very sad you know um, when you apply for a job you know and you don't you don't get a response um, sometimes you don't know what to do and it's so you know it becomes sleepless night and everything um, today let's talk about what uh, you did and you know maybe you made a mistake for you not to get your ESL offer or what you didn't do and you know it affected you not to get your ESL offer if today is your first time on this channel please can you do me a favor and subscribe to this channel like this video and share it with your friends um, those who want to move to Asia to teach or move to other continent to to teach you know um, I have been a lot of videos and I've been explaining a lot of things um, one thing I said is that before you apply for a job mostly for non-native speakers you know or mostly for other skin colored people you know it's very hard to get a job even with all your qualifications your experience and everything you want to toil you know it's not easy I have to say it here it's not easy just like you apply it and you're gonna get it because there are a lot of people applying the jobs you know and that is where even somebody your friend or your brother or your sister in China will tell you hey if somebody tell you, um, tells you that you can get a job in China it's not uh, it's not possible that is why some friends will even tell you this but it's not like that you know there are other petty mistakes people are making that is why they are not getting um, jobs you know Every, any job you're gonna apply there are petty um, mistakes you know so today I'm gonna tell you the things you shouldn't do when you are applying for an ESL job and the things that are gonna make it very easy for you to get um, what you call it um, the job you know so everyone will say tell me the bad news first so let me tell you the bad news you know before you apply for a job or when you during your interview please don't speak too much don't speak a lot of things you know don't say what is not relevant to the interviewer you know if the person asks you a question just give the person um, the direct answer you know and uh, after everything try your best to ask like at least two or three questions you know like if you are going to have interview in China probably the agent will tell you hey Jeffrey um, tomorrow, um, this school, this is training school, this university, this kindergarten going to interview you. And you can ask the agent to give you like um, a little history about the kindergarten. Or you can, you know, let me tell you this. Most of the agents, they just want you to get a job. Because why? If an agent helps you to get a job, the school will give their agent like some amount of money. You know what I'm trying to tell you? so they are there just to help you to get a job you know they are not there not to help you to get it so even if you apply if they help you to apply for the job and you don't get it sometimes the school will tell them the reason why they didn't hire you and it will make them not to you know um look for more offers for you so please at least prepare everything you need listen to all my advice i'm giving to most most especially non-native speakers and do it you know don't make it a rush do it before you apply for the job when you apply for the job i bet you you're gonna get it so easily but if you don't you don't do that and sometimes you apply for it it's gonna be hard you know you're gonna you're gonna spend a lot of your time and energy and it's not gonna work and maybe you might think okay this guy is even lying or maybe other people so other guys are lying you know it's not like that it's possible so as i was saying try to do some research about the school you, they're gonna interview you and be straightforward so after everything try to ask at least two questions not or three more questions about the school oh when was it even established like the number of students like you know these petty things try to ask the number of students in the classroom when was it established like whoa like the boss name uh, like you know petty things and you know make it fun make it like make the atmosphere you know nice you know and please during the interview don't shake don't 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 be trembling you know don't don't fear anything you know if you are if you are even fearful please this time be courageous and do the interview 
because it's not gonna last for a long time you know at least one hour is enough okay that is it and even before the interview before the interview um you have to make sure you prepare yourself very well wait for them don't let them come and wait for you that is one thing punctuality is very important you know so that is it and the next one is the salary please if you are a native teacher or different colored person you know it's very easy for you to get offers every day and every day you know um and you can you know decide which job you know which offer to take but if you're not native speaker please when you get the job and the salary is not even as i'm saying because for for those here in china they can get better than that you know um that's what i'm saying people are getting better salary even for me i i'm still getting less you know but i still have to take this offer because i'm not native teacher and because of you know um what it takes to be you know so when you get this um the the offer and the agent told you like they're going to give you like maybe um two thousand dollars to three thousand dollars don't try to go for the three thousand dollars you will fail trust me i'm not you know discouraging you to go for a higher salary because um it's, it's good for all of us but you know stand in between like two thousand five hundred to three thousand dollars and even even i repeat it again if they give you two thousand dollars take it you know if you take it probably after one year you have the experience and you have everything and you can look for a better job or you can ask them to increase it for you you know uh, but if they ask you, okay, um, we want you to know that we'll give you um, $2,000 or $1,900 because of maybe something you said in the interview or because maybe you weren't able to express yourself well, you know. So they said they'll give you $1,800. You say, okay, thank you for the offer. Uh, that was not like my expectations. You know, I was expecting like um, maybe um, $3,000 here, but because i love your school i'm willing to come and work for you guys so i'll accept this money you know and you can accept the one thousand eight hundred dollars or the two thousand dollars don't argue about the money don't argue about it most of them you know recruiters when they see that they're not going to help you don't argue about money don't never at all you know for me sometimes even as as as, as to now even they send me my salary and I lose like even 100 even like maybe um, 50 to like um, less than $50. Sometimes I don't say anything. They will sit there and sit there and sit there and later they say, Oh, Jeff, we didn't give you this money, please. We will give you this time. You know, maybe some, hey, there was a mistake. But the moment they saying, hey, my money, you didn't give me all my money, blah, blah. You know, it's like we are here for the money. But sometimes you do that, you know, in court, you'd be like, oh, this guy is just only for the money, you know. So please don't argue about the money. That is one thing. And um, one thing I'll tell you not to do is that don't lie. Don't lie about anything about your about your anything, most especially your nationality and your certificates. Don't lie about that, you know. But for your experience, you can you know just fake it a little bit for you to get a job, and that is okay. But about your nationality and your certificate, please don't lie about it. Make your resume. Um, but for your experience, it doesn't matter, you know. But if I were you, as I said earlier, um, I will go to a school, um, a community school or some schools, and I will sacrifice to do uh, like a, a job there for like maybe three to five months. And when you do that, you can speak to the school. I want to use this to get an offer. So on my resume i will say like i worked there for like one year or two years they will agree to that you know you know any schools you know and um, that is fine um they will agree to that so it's okay so don't lie about your 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 credentials you know that is what i want to do and uh, one thing for you to get um the offer easily i said it and i want to repeat it over here if you are not native speaker, most especially from Africa, and you know, not from South Africa or not um, Africa, because of South African passport is uh, classified as a native speaking country, and for the North Africa, because of the skin, light skin color, you know, they get um, the, the jobs easily. If you are not like that and you are from 
like even from the caribbean or you know um for the caribbean sometimes it's also quite easy you know for them but what i want to say is that do your possible best do your possible best you know it's not too late for you and get a certificate from any native speaking country you know any of them try to apply for like one year diploma six months diploma or something and this will help you you know this will help you to get a job this is one of the the things you should do please i'm just begging you if you want to get a, a better job better salary and get a job easily try to do that if you don't have it now it's not too late to do it you can try to do it and make sure that you have your tfl certificate if you don't have it please don't go and add any recruiter you know don't go and add any agent you will disturb them and you know they're gonna get mad you know because it's hard time for everyone you know connecting you to schools they are doing their research you know same as i'm coming here to give you the the information you need they are doing also their research to get the schools for you so if they apply the, the job for you and uh, like they they don't hire you you know it's, it's like a bad reputation for them you know so don't do that place um try to get a certificate from native speaking country any of them you know diploma degree um certificate is even enough it's okay you have a certificate you attach to it it's okay you know and if you like you can if you get a job and they didn't hire you can tell them oh i'm going to do this when i come back will you hire me yeah you can just also talk to them to so get a certificate from native speaking country and uh, next one i would like to talk about it is your introduction video you know if you have all these credentials and your introduction video is not good it's going to go against you because you give them the introduction video you are not there you know they will watch it and watch it watch everything so during this introduction video like make it very short make it very very short like maybe 30 seconds is enough you know 30 seconds is enough if you want to speak for a lot like at least one minute is it's okay and with this please if your accent is not good for me my accent is not good you know so before 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 i will do that introduction video i will prepare myself and self i will listen to the words i want to say very correctly you know so that um they will they will look at that and hire me so please if you want to do that it's very necessary it's very very necessary you know to make your introduction video as accurate as you can you know so that it will pave a way for you make the introduction video the nicest video in your lifetime please <laughs> you know just do that you know so for the introduction video and the one beneficial thing you should do as i said earlier try to sacrifice to go and get experience from any of the schools around you you know if they're gonna allow you to do that any in international schools any private schools just go there um you know for this time you are just sowing a seed you know don't go there for even money or you can go if they want to give you money do it like two months or three months or even maximum one month you know and when you do that please try to get pictures of you and the kids in the classroom try to get videos some videos of you and kids in the classroom and attach it to your like your make a video and attach it to your resume i'm um, sorry your introduction video you know and um, give it to the agents the recruiters and what they call the school they will be in love with you when they see that that one thing they will be in love with you you know when when they see like you were a teacher back home because most of the people moving to um, asia to teach most of them are not teachers back home you know so immediately they see that um they will be in love with your video everything and you know they will hire you that is it so please try to do that if you can do that um if you can't do that it's okay do the other things and it will also help you know if you do all these things and you apply for a job it's gonna be easy for you you know if not you apply 1000 jobs and nobody gonna call you you know nobody gonna call you and you think like oh maybe because of my skin color maybe because i'm not from a native speaking country no that is wrong that is not that it's because of the way you 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 did your resume your cv your introduction video your you know your credentials and the way you did your interview you know 
these things are very very important so please make sure that you do what i'm saying and it will help you you know you can keep on looking for the jobs and you can start doing this what i'm trying to tell you if you want to move because like if you if you just spend like maybe six months to do this without better money back home and after that six months you can get a job the job is from back home to here they're just gonna pay you like twice maybe five times or ten times the money you are getting back home you know as i told you in my other videos when i was in ghana i was paying like one one hundred dollars per per month you know and um from up to now um, it's like i'm getting that 100 dollars, maybe even more than that per day you know so 100 dollars per month and now 100 dollars per day so you see and it, it it's it's gonna you know um, pay pay all the money i lost you know back uh, back those days you know so please do your best and listen to what i'm saying and it will be okay for you it will be successful everything will be okay you know so I wish you all the best and I hope everything will work out for you. If you need any help and, uh, and you, you or you need any advice, don't forget to send me a message on Instagram. Um, with my free time, I will do my possible best and, you know, um, reply to all your messages. If today is your first time here on this channel, please, can you do me a favor and subscribe to this channel? Like this video and share it with your friends. Really appreciate your time and everything. Don't forget to comment below if you have anything. If you have tried um, these methods and it helped you and it was successful, you know, please try to comment below so that it will encourage your friends also here uh, for them to, you know, get a better job. Wish you all the best and see you next time. Bye-bye. Ciao, ciao. Sai Jin. See you next time. Bye.